Isabel, and I'm going to talk about kindness. Kindness to plants, kindness to animals, and kindness to humans. You should be kind to plants because they help us get nutrition by growing vegetables. And you should be kind to trees because they give us air to breathe. If they didn't exist, then we wouldn't be alive. So I don't understand why some people are mean to plants. If they keep on cutting down trees, then maybe one day there will be no trees and there will be no fresh air to be. So make sure that you're always kind to plants. Number two, kindness to animals. Just because they, they can't speak, it doesn't mean they don't have feelings. And you should leave some food or something to drink once in a while outside for the animals because Qatar is very hot and sometimes animals can die of the heat. Now I want to tell you a story. One day when I was coming back from a shop with my family, I saw a kid and his dad kick a dog. Would you like that? Being kicked for no reason at all and you couldn't even stop it? You wouldn't, right? So that's how you should treat animals, with kindness. Kindness to humans. You should treat people like you want to be treated, with kindness. The point I'm trying to make is be kind, not a person with no mind. If you still don't understand why you should be kind, then there's another reason. If we lived in a world with people always fighting, then maybe somebody could get hurt very bad, and slowly everybody would start getting hurt. Kindness is important, not just for you, but for everyone. But for everyone. Would you like it if one day somebody started hurting you and every day the same thing happened? You wouldn't, would you? So that's how you should treat everyone, with kindness. I hope the next time I see you, you'll be kinder and nicer.